I nearly forgot to videotape because I was so excited, but here we have a brand new Ninja Foodie Max dual zone nine and a half litre air fryer. I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of a review. Um, upon taking it out of the big box, which is out there, like I say, I'm excited, I threw everything all over. Um, I did notice that the sellotape was already cut on both sides, so another reason for videoing is if there's anything wrong with the unit, then I have it on film. Looks like you've got some instructions in there, we'll have a look at that in a bit. They usually come with a little cover on, but never mind. It could just be how the ninja does things. Ooh. It's quite a bit heavier than I thought it would be. It does look nicely packaged in there. Ooh. Feels like a good bit of paper. What I'll do, I'll get this out of the box. And more packing. I'll get that. Take the box out of the way. Ooh, here we go. I've opened it at the back. There we go. So that's out of the paper packaging. And probably not the best way to open things, but excited and all that. Oh, 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 very satisfying peel. Very satisfying. Anybody that likes opening Apple products will know the satisfying taking off of protectors and labels and things, which is quite good. Oh, drawers are held in place. I like that there's no sticky residue being left behind. I do like that because that does my head in. There we go. And there we have it. So it does look pretty new. Oh. <laughs> right, so that was sort of secured in there. Little packing material. That was just some junk mail that I got through the, the mail. Oh, nice little rubberized bits so it doesn't scratch as it's going in and out it's uh, nice and deep to be able to fit a fair amount of food in that yeah. put that in take that one out obviously you'll only be able to put these in one way they're not interchangeable because Suspect if you try and shove that in there, it won't go in. So, nice and simple in there. And that one as well, you've got your little thing there that you can take out, put in. So all your juices and everything will go down under that, but also as the, uh, the fan that's in there, there's your heating element, there'll be a fan above it. It'll kick the air around and cook the underside as well. So there we go. I'll get it all set up and I will show you the first thing that we're going to cook a little bit later. But everything looks all nice and in there. Uh, at the back, by the way, these are uh, outlets. I have seen from other people that you don't need to um, take it right away from the wall but I shall test that theory later on and let you know 
how it goes. This, I must say, the little labels, I don't know what it is, but very satisfying. Oh, one there. There we go. Now you can see loads of uh, different bits on there. And loads of uh, little bits on there. Anyway, I'll come back in a bit uh, and let you know my thoughts. So, inside this little envelope that was inside, move that out of the way, you have information here. You can uh, take a screenshot or pause to read if you need to. Then you have your instructions. There we go, that's the model number. If you're interested, you just got this off AO. And then you get a quick start guide. So, cooking charts. Quite nice that they include all of this lot. I won't go through all of this because I'm sure a million other reviewers and people with uh, videos have done a lot better than I have. As I say, I'm just getting started. I've only reviewed one product previously, and that was the Akara G4 doorbell. Incidentally, that one is a very excellent product, but you can check my YouTube channel for anything else. But it looks like you've got a lot of information in here. Oh, that's what we like to see. Looking absolutely lovely. I bet when I cook it, it looks nothing like that, but hey-ho. But just a little insert for you there, and I shall come back when uh, we cook something. Currently, my partner's out getting a nice joint of meat because she's in town anyway, and this came while she was out. So, my partner has come home with a nice gammon joint. This is what we're deciding to do as the first one. We're going to have mushrooms, eggs, and we're going to have potato pop pops from Asda, which are absolutely amazing. We usually do them in the oven. But we're doing them in there today. Right, here we have our gammon joint. It is roughly a kilo. So I'll put that in there. I won't push it forward just... Ah, I can't push it forward. Why not? So, turn it on. Pretty simple to use. So, rotate your dial. As you can see, it's lit up there. If you rotate it, it'll go round and uh, obviously to the other side if you want them to bake it's got various different settings for this one i'm doing gammon i'm going to air fry it um, i'm going to do the temperature so i'll put that down to 180 time i'm going to give 25 minutes and i'm only cooking one thing for the moment because i'm going to do 25 minutes then I'm going to do another 25 minutes, but put the, the pop pops in that side and I'll show you how to do that and come back to it. So press start. And the noise of it isn't actually anywhere near what I thought it would be. But there we go. We'll come back and we will check on that in a little bit. So what we will be having, we'll be having some garlicky mushrooms. So, we've got some blur pack garlic butter. I'll just put a bit of a knob in the bottom of there. And we have prepared and cut our mushrooms up. There we go, a little knob of butter to get uh, the mushrooms. Put all the mushrooms in. So, we are nearly done here. We've got four seconds left. We're gonna see what it's like. And that is looking fairly good. My partner is filming for me at the moment because she's very kind like that. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to turn this over very clumsily. <laughs> so as you can see, it's cooking the underside of the meat as well. Now for this one, as I was saying before, we're going to attempt to finish cooking the potato pops that we've got. Now it says a slightly different time in the book to what it does on the packet. So I'm going to go with the book. And it 
says 12 minutes for the potato pops. So I'll we'll spread them nice and evenly in there. And we'll put that in there. Now, we twiddle this one round to air fry on number one. And that wants to be down to 180 and 23 minutes. And then we want to go on number two. That wants to be on max crisp. And the time, 12 minutes. And we want to sink. So this one will finish at the same time as that one. Press start and that one as you can see stays on hold so when that gets to 12 minutes left on the timer that one will start and they should finish together. I will come back shortly and see how we're done. I just wanted to point something out that I find quite good. We're approaching the 12 minute mark so I will show you that this one starts when this one gets down. However, if you need to check and you need to shake things up, pull this out, it pauses, and you can have a look, check that things, things are going well. Put it back in, and it automatically starts again. As you can see, um, that fan that is there, my extractor fan, is roughly the same noise as that. And there we go, you saw it go over, the second one has started up, but yeah, the, the noise of that is roughly the same noise as that fan makes on its own anyway, so definitely not as loud as I thought it was going to be, and my partner has kindly started the mushrooms, so nice garlic mushrooms to go with it, and I will put that on to preheat for the eggs a few minutes before we finish this off. Hopefully it should all be ready together and then we can serve up and have a nice dinner. So the time's nearly up. You just have a quick check. That is looking lovely. They're starting to look lovely. The little uh, potato pots give a good shake about. Something else that I would like to point out that is only very slightly warm to the touch. I mean, here is ambient room temperature, I would say, which I think is absolutely brilliant. This is slightly warm, but it's not going to burn you. A little bit of hot air coming out there, but again, look, it's not going to burn you, which I find really good. Handle, nice, nice, cool to the touch. And there again, slight little bit of air coming out but it's not going to burn you as i say that almost below room temperature and out of the back as you can see everything's cooking in there i can comfortably hold my hand there not a problem at all and just before we serve up lovely golden brown pot pot it's just finished and i've just quickly carved some of the meat up absolutely piping hot burning a little <laughs> yeah absolutely piping hot and it looks brilliant so the eggs are done and the mushrooms are done time for a lovely tea and there we have a lovely finished product so here we go we have eaten our lovely tea and this is what it's like afterwards here's the one that we had the pot pots in doesn't look too bad. Right. That'll do. A little bit of that. Leave that a little rinse. 
this out in a second. See how well it does just swirling. See what we've got. Mm, not too bad. Hopefully you can see that. Not too bad. I've got a song in my head. <laughs> oh, there, I put it there. A little bit of fairy liquid. too much save on the uh, energy right let's have a look not really pressing don't want to scrape anything and we seem to be pretty good There we go, a realistic expectation of a very, very easy clean for the tray itself. And let's have a look at you. Oh, just a little bit of a swell, a little bit of a wipe. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Nothing's really stuck to it, no fat or anything. And there we go, all nice and clean, rub it down, there we are, all nice and clean, hopefully you can see that on the video. As a little addition, it's the next day, we are doing mushrooms, we're going to do eggs again, we've got some nice chunky chips cooking, and in the chunky chips, a little bit of seasoning. Well, uh, not too much, but enough to give it a bit of a throw to shake it out. And we are also doing some steak, so we're going to see how that turns out. So, it's approaching halfway time with the steak. pull it out that's looking nice so the steaks steaks just, steak's just going to be flipped over there we go and then a little brush with oil chips a little shake as well. They look like they're coming up nicely. And there we go. And the mushrooms are cooking nicely in a nice little garlic sauce. And we're going to put four eggs on as well. Where we like to do these. Nice and easy in on the top and then it all cooks nicely so the air fryer is now done and look at that wonderful steak and wonderful chips as well eggs we've just taken off they look oh sorry darling they look pretty perfect oh. and we have our mushrooms there's my lovely other half serving up for us. It looks pretty nice if I do say so. Not heavy. So Sam's just said as well she expected them to be heavy, but she says they're pleasantly not heavy. So that's quite good.
nice thick chunky chips for our steak and there we have it mushroom sauce for the steak eggs very nice garlic mushrooms and a load of chips so that is <laughs> my wife's gonna kill it with tomato sauce there we are <laughs> So my final thoughts on the AF400 UK from Ninja, it is a very good air fryer, we have done various different meals, um, I've left the final part of this uh, for a couple of weeks, so we've had it a couple of weeks now and we've cooked various different things in there, we've even managed to cook pies in there. Um, I would say this would be a good addition to anybody's kitchen. It has saved us a fair amount on our electric bill already and it's quite noticeable how much it does save you. I think it's due to the fact you're not heating a huge amount of space and because you're not heating that huge amount of space I don't think it takes as much time to cook a lot of the things that you would usually cook in the oven. It is extremely easy to clean. I hope that came across okay on the video. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, I am new to reviewing products. Um, as you can see in the video, a couple of times I did tick. Um, for instance, I placed my hand on the meat and didn't take my hand away. Um, it's just an unfortunate part of my condition, I'm afraid. Um, I am going to start reviewing more products. If people would like to give me any feedback in the comments, um, any feedback is very much appreciated. And hopefully I will see you very soon for another review that I'm going to be doing on some cameras. Uh, look out for that as a future video that should appear very shortly. Thank you for taking the time for watching my video and I hope you have a wonderful day.